Jason, it's great to see you. I see you survived the pandemic very well. We did. We did. And are you still uh, north of the border? I'm still in Canada, up in Montreal. How do you like Uh, it? Uh, You've been there for five years now? I think we moved from the States uh, four years ago. Hmm. Uh, In fact, the last time I was on the show, I think we talked about the economic benefits of uh, taking a U.S. startup and running operations out of out of another country like Canada. Uh, so I think to date now, we're up to 1.5 million of government support in Canada for what we're doing. Um, that is unbelievable. Incredible. Yeah. So every year you are able to take your research projects and get a credit. You submit that to the government from what I understand, and then you wait and see, and then yeah. they will give you Reimburse. uh, a reimbursement for a developer or three. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. And the motivation then, of course, to qualify is you have to have Canadian based engineers to qualify. Hmm. So most of the team now is in Canada. Uh, wow. So we can get that that grant money. And you were ahead of the curve. Uh, you obviously were in New York and uh, raised money in Silicon Valley, got the best of both worlds. Um, but now everybody is remote anyway, so it yeah. doesn't matter. Um, so you were ahead of the curve on that. Uh, yeah, now everyone's caught up. I'm just like everyone else working from my house. <laughs> well, is the pandemic, I'm just as a, before we get into the product, is the, pa- yeah. what's the state of the pandemic up there? I know Canada was behind, uh, was on serious lockdown and way behind on vaccines. What's the situation been this past six months or so? I think now we would be uh, around 10th in the world uh, of countries over a million people to be fully vaccinated. Wow. I think above the age of 12 across the country we're like at 85 86 percent with two what? vaccinations wow yeah. extraordinary people yeah. believe in science yeah the rates have come down significantly here and where they do exist it's it's like 6x unvaccinated people the ratio to uh vaccinated going into hospitals or whatever yeah um, yeah. yeah and i think makes sense makes total sense here we got to in california you know this high 60s low 70s depending on what region and we are the i think uh tip of the spear in terms of compliance but yeah to mm-hmm. get above 80 is just so amazing and then we of course have these pills you're going to be able to take from pfizer these antivirals should hopefully end the pandemic if we don't have another uh yeah major variant in the meantime people play games on their phones so <laughs> we're pretty we're pretty it's happy. pretty great <laughs> well, it's interesting you say that it, um so it's, you, to the audience you have to catch up because we're all friends but um it is interesting. Uh, a lot of what I'm seeing inside of companies is the companies that were getting a massive lift from the pandemic, Coinbase, Robinhood, DoorDash, whatever. Now it's kind of reversing and the go back to the real world is starting to uh, benefit a little bit. Um, but yeah, video games have obviously had a huge bump. So tell me about the new product you created and why you uh, added this to the product line. Obviously, we've been covering NFTs and uh, had Roham from Dapper Labs on, OpenSeas, yeah. uh, Devin came on. And of course, we had Metacoven who bought people a $69 million NFT. So we've been all over this for the past year. Uh, but NFTs have been, you know, mainly limited to uh, collectibles. Yeah. And people have talked a bit about games. So here we are, you're uh, jumping into games. So tell us, yeah. what did you build and, and why? Yeah. So I think just to set the stage at Ready Games, we've been in building tools for creators to create game content for the last four or five years. And so our core platform uh, was letting people create simple, hyper casual games on mobile without knowing how to code. We have over 2 million creators on that platform. And I'd say about a year ago, uh, within the company, we said to ourselves, things are moving, Uh, we need to be more 3d, more grounded around multiplayer social gaming as opposed to solo. And We want to bring in uh, the whole avatar experience as the central unit of creation. Mm. So, so what these are like principles that we had. And the reason we had those principles is we felt that the shift in gaming is increasingly just purely social. You know, people are going into games, major ones like Fortnite, Roblox. It's obvious that the loop there is fundamentally a social loop around the game experience. And so, what we want to do is unblock creators to build social gaming experiences on mobile incredibly hard to do Mm. because it's very expensive computationally engineering wise to build like true back-end services to allow synchronous real-time gaming let alone to do it in a low code no code kind of way Mm. so so strategically we thought really reinvesting deeply in our into our intellectual technical intellectual property was important 
And it all had to work on mobile. Like, mm. you had to be able to create this content on mobile, not on a desktop. Mm. There's 2.3 billion people on phones. And we're super excited about that audience and super serving that audience. So over the course of the last year, we probably had 10 engineers working full time, really rebuilding out the creative experience. And it culminated in two things. One is called the Ready Games Network, which is a platform that allows independent developers to take a casual mobile game, usually a solo title, and turn it into a multiplayer social game. And then in addition to that, we created an avatar system with all the cosmetics that you can purchase around what's called the metagame, meaning the parts of the game that don't affect the core gameplay. And that is really hard to achieve on mobile. Mostly very kind of advanced companies have this type of stuff. So Fortnite, for instance, has huge industry around the metagame. That's all the skins and the stuff. It doesn't give you any advantage when you play Fortnite. Not going to be better. There's no pay to win, but you look different. And they do hundreds of millions of dollars, as you know, in sales on that stuff. So we wanted to bring that kind of capacity into like picture t- a team of two, three people creating a casual game. That's Give it to them. Yeah. So that's what we did with Icon. That's what launched last week. Icon is the authoring tool in the Ready Games Network that allows for the creation of all the avatar cosmetics to put it put the, the addressable market into perspective. It's a forty billion dollar spend this year just on cosmetics across all gaming platforms. Got it. 40 billion uh, buying digital goods. And so as we on ramped like the, the creator platform for the avatar system, the ability to design clothing and shoes and scarves and all the cosmetics that go around it, it was kind of a no brainer to bind all of that to NFTs. Mm. And, and, and that's a deeper thing to, to discuss, but just high level philosophically, that's the jump that lets you see this as an asset that you can own as opposed to sort of use as a consumable and from there you know collect and use inside of ultimately multiple games which we'll get into how we support it across metaverses across titles because that's critical to the value yeah of and here is a, like that. here's a quick video for those of you watching on youtube we'll talk over it and sportscast it um it's just a 24 second video but what are we yeah. seeing here well this is the internal avatar system we designed a modular system where the clothing can fit on all the points and what you see here are the different types of avatars you can create um, and just now we're in the app itself and you're able to now customize that's a tailoring event people are now tailoring the items you can do all kinds of interesting textures and then you can bind it to nfts and from there essentially have the the rules set around how uh, the product is sold you get five percent of the sale uh, if you own the underlying nft um, in addition to being the creator, as the creator, you get even more on top of it. We'll get into that in more detail, all the economics, but uh, well, that we have really the design is, system, everything. Yeah, that, that's the really interesting part of this is if they create their avatars here, or if a game creates the avatars, uh, and I'm wearing that specific, uh, you know, clothing, when I go to my next game, I could bring it with me. If that game were to shut down, you know, Fortnite shuts yeah. down or some, you know, get there's a new version. All, all of your skins don't come with you, you lose them, or if you decide you're going to go from Minecraft to Roblox, you're basically whatever you did in Minecraft is gone and you got to start over in Roblox. When you are trying to grow a startup fast, hiring engineers will slow you down like nothing else. Don't I know it? So many companies I invest in are telling me they can't get their next version out because they don't have a great engineer. Well, Lemon.io will find you a perfect candidate in just 48 hours. It's a marketplace of engineers from Europe, and they test and interview every developer to eliminate the risk of a failed project. Lemon.io is the perfect solution if you are a technical co-founder and you need to delegate some of your important tasks, or you have a project that needs specific technology and you don't have that skill on your team yet. Or you are just growing so fast that you need to add more developers and get more done faster. They'll match you with a candidate within 48 hours. And if it doesn't work out, they'll replace the developer right away. So here is your CTA, the old call to action. If you could use a full time or even part time developer to run your projects faster, go to lemon.io slash twist. Once again, lemon, L-E-M-O-N dot I-O slash twist and you'll receive a 15% discount for the first four weeks of work with that amazing developer. Well done, Lemon. Okay, check it out, everybody. Lemon.io slash twist. 